that pay this one uh, fitness influencer twenty thousand dollars, and the ROI for this one company, I'm not gonna say any names, uh, they only got two thousand dollars in ROI. And what is the best way to identify online influencers? Oh, that's a good one. Wanna go first or me? Um, go ahead. All right, so the best way, there's a tool that we use to identify how legit these influences are specifically for Instagram. You'll find the link on the cards or in the description in our YouTube. Um, but the easiest way just by gauging it is look at their followers and look at the likes and the engagement. Are they actually talking to the people? Are they, or is the ratio in terms of likes and followers uh, congruent to what they're trying to sell? Um, so that's one of the, like, what's like, that's the best way, I think, to go about it. Because with a lot of the pressure of trying to look or look like you have a lot of followers and people buying it, especially these other companies that say they'll do power likes and things like that to make you seem like a big deal. Um, I think that's like a short-term gain, long-term loss because you're just trying to look good for now. It's, a, it's an image thing instead of a people thing. So social media is about the people you're engaging with and who you're, the impact. And that come, that's got to come from uh, a true space of, you know, again, sharing your your viewpoint of the world that that it invokes emotion at the same time you've got to come from that space and know how to use creative content to put it out there and then at the same time you've got to know how to distribute it you how do you how are you cross promoting on your platforms how are you in, I'm going into often a tangent uh, but I'm hoping this is helpful like how are you promoting your Instagram on I don't know on YouTube or on Facebook or are you getting you know your friends to shout you out I'd say like the easiest way is to look at the ratio of followers to actual engagement and uh, and uh, use the tool that we set that we rec recommend because it shows you because if you're gonna do if you're going to pay for influencer shout outs you want to make sure you're getting your money's worth because I, I, there's a company that paid this one uh, fitness influencer $20,000 and the ROI for this one company, I'm not going to say any names, uh, they only got $2,000 in ROI. So that was like, you know, huge investment, but I, I don't think they did a good enough vet, good enough job vetting this particular influencer. So um, use the tool, see the, the, it shows the engagement rate percentage, and then it also shows how much it thinks the profile is. So um, yeah. Those are that. Yeah. I mean, you know the tools. So, um, now I'm gonna go off in a little bit more. Uh, I would say, in terms of influencers, don't worry about the follower count. Look for people who are like 5,000 and less, 4,000 less, 1,000 less, but who have ridiculously good engagement, like 1,000, like 5,000 uh, followers, but they're getting three, four, five hundred likes. That's a pretty good engagement. Because if you if you look at like these big accounts of 10,000 followers but only 100 likes you know that's something a little iffy that's uh, those are things to really look out for and I'm glad a lot of people are becoming more aware of it I think there's an article recent that came out last month I talked about how people buy these followers not just to try to look good for their brand but also to try to because their jobs were on the line like some people like as we like us coming from like the dance world we know people who have faced who weren't book gi booked gigs because they didn't have the following uh, so which you know it sucks